Alright, hey guys, back A37 here. So, today we're bringing you the second video of uh, Nazi Zombies. Um, again, we don't know what round it's going to go up to. We'll tell you at the end, probably. Anyway, so we have Jordan here today with us. Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so... Uh, I have the Thompson, and I think the, S the FG is my secondary. And, uh, so here I'm linking the uh, third teleporter. And, uh, you know, unlocking the Pack-a-Punch machine, or the PAP. Hmm. Jordan, you want to explain to them what the Pack-a-Punch machine does? I think I did this last time. No, no, that was the failed count. Oh, yeah. So can open it. Um, yeah, Pack-a-Punch machine is an upgrading machine for your guns. You can only upgrade your guns to the second tier. It doesn't, just, you can only upgrade it once, okay, guys? So, for those who haven't played this game. Um, and it does not give you ammo back, that's what the wall is for if your gun's on the wall and uh... yeah so it upgrades your gun makes it shoot lasers increases its ammo capacity and damage and that's pretty much it Yeah. Um, also if you have the gun off the wall like an STG or an FG or a Thompson and you upgrade those I don't recommend upgrading Thompson but whatever and then uh... if you do that then you can buy the ammo off the wall for 4,500 points it's quite a lot but uh... You you'll have enough to go through you know, some people, I don't blame them when they watch this. They may think it's a dull strategy we have here. Um, because, you know, we're just sitting in one area. But if you guys want us to try anything else, just leave a comment or something. We'll try it, and uh, if it goes okay, we'll post it. Just for the fans, though. Yeah, well, we'll honestly, this is the best single-player tactic. There's not much else you can do. Yeah. That we're aware of, anyways. I mean, running around on this map is not good. You're going to get swarmed. It's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, inevitable. Yeah, in Shinra Numa you can do that. I mean, as you got to round 31 on Shinra Numa, it's pretty great. Yeah, expect to see that sometime. Yeah, once we're done, um, we're gonna do every zombie map. That is, if this, uh, these videos get a good response. I mean, if you guys don't like them, then we'll continue to post what we were before. Mm -hmm. And if you guys really want to see normal, like, online gameplay that badly, you know, just leave a comment. Yeah, it's freaking hard though because the games are like 40 minutes long each because they're all like yeah, uh, and dedicated. not to mention it's like a bunch of people in each map, like 50 people, just like Call of Duty 4. We're not used to that because we are uh, console gamers with this game, so we're used to you know 12 people per game, and you could we would do really well. But here it's like it's just different. Uh, we're not saying it's bad, but we're just not used to it. Yeah, so it's well, it's just weird. I don't know. It's like Jordan said, not used to it. It's I don't know how to describe it. There's just too many damn people, and every turn in a corner, you get killed. And especially yeah. in free fall, you spawn in front of people. Yeah, like uh, I don't know, 50 people on dome just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Yeah, freaking like, small ass map. Yeah, it's just it's just bad. Like, um, the only thing I like about PC gaming, like, is that there's a lot of modded servers and stuff. So if you're bored, you can go play on those. I don't know. It's just I get I don't get bored that fast anymore. Yeah, like, I, I know, like, uh, even if we're playing zombies, I mean, we did play this on the Xbox quite a lot, but, uh, we, you know, we don't, uh, we still not bored of it, even though we play these maps already, just because different console, different experience, or different platforms, so. Yeah. Alright, uh, I want to talk about rebuilding barriers for a minute. If you're going to rebuild barriers at the beginning of the, when, like, level one and stuff, what you want to do, you want, you want to let all the zombies in, so you get max ammo, I'm pretty sure I stated that in my last video, or our last video. And then what you want to do is rebuild the barrier until it stops giving you points. Because once you rebuild one barrier fully, basically, it stops giving you points. Don't rebuild the last, you won't get points. The zombies will get in faster, you save yourself a lot of time if you're going for a speed run. And because I remember we used to just rebuild all the barriers and we have to wait like 40 minutes for the zombies to get inside. And you guys yeah. might be saying, oh, just buy the car 98k or the viewer on the wall. Well, I don't want to, it's just a waste of money. I'd rather just move on to the Thompson room and get that. Mm -hmm. I remember we didn't like the SDG at first because, like, if you hit a person in the body with it, it really, it really sucks. Horrible. Yeah, but when, if you hit him in the head, as you can see, he kills fairly fast. It's not really slow enough, and it's not even upgraded yet. When it's upgraded, it's pretty rape. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I like using like MG Wonderwall or but my favorite. I think my favorite combination for ass shots would be like SDG upgraded and the Afterburner, which is the MP40 upgraded. You know, when I first played Duris, I found the map pretty cool because uh, I was watching a show on Discovery Channel about Hitler, and he was in a cult, right? And the cult had a lot to do with aliens and stuff, and he believed that if you found this alien substance, he could be, like, invincible. So, this is true, too. You guys can Google this. Uh, he spent, I don't know, I think it was, like, either $6 million or 6 I'm pretty sure it's $6 million back then, 
on just finding this alien substance. He had a whole team and like soldiers to find it and he sent them all around the world looking for it. And yeah, it's just kind of crazy. So when I saw this map, I was like, with the teleportation stuff, I was, it was just kind of interesting. Yeah, I guess you kind of, I can, you can see the relationship between uh, yeah. those two things. And, uh, oh yeah, another cool thing is, uh, Hitler wanted to, uh, he was, he liked, since I said about aliens, right, he liked that a lot. He wanted to make a flying saucer. He had, almost had plans set out for it, like, uh, his engineers were thinking of, you know, making a flying saucer style aircraft, right? And it was like that uh, idea is really cool. So I wonder what would happen if you know the Germans did win the war. I wonder what the world would be like nowadays. It's just they had like all these weird ideas that they could, they were almost about to execute, but then uh, you know it got raped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> proper word. Raped by Russia. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying that you know they were right. Like they should be living. Like you know they should still Hitler should still be here. But I'm just saying what well, it would have been like. Uh, Pretty different. Yeah, and yeah. if. World War Two. I think World War Two was necessary for the world because if World War Two didn't happen, like one, jet, like we wouldn't have made like the jet engine that fast. So it would be probably be twenty years behind in technology still. So uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, same thing in weaponry too, right? Yeah, like the Germans are the first people to make the assault rifle. That's a true fact too. Um, I mean, they had some machine guns back then and stuff. And wasn't wasn't the bar made like slightly after? Browning, uh, Browning. Okay, well, bar doesn't sound for assault rifle. It's uh, Browning automatic rifle. Yeah. But uh, it was not classified as an assault rifle because of the rounds it used. But oh, yeah, yeah. I, what do you use? Five point six? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that kind of was a bit different. I don't know the rounds for an exact. Pretty sure now that's what he'd use. I mean, well, if they yeah, made, if they made a new one, which sucks balls. I think he. I don't call me out on this, but I think the SCG was actually the German assault rifle. Yeah, it was. Yes, that's uh, then uh, the SCG is the assault rifle. It's uh, that's why you can see it's in the rifle section online. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I was like, why shouldn't this be a stealth machine gun when I was looking at it? I was well, like, the magazine on that thing. Yeah. yeah. But still, um, you know, we always make, I try to make a crawler or whatever, I'm going to go do teleport or go to the mainframe or do anything, but uh, mm -hmm. I used the box, got a magnum, and yeah. upgraded it. It's pretty cool. Not many people really do that. The magnum's not bad, though. Well, it's better than using an, un an unupgraded Thompson, so... <laughs> Uh, it's much safer. You can get collaterals of this thing, but if you get in trouble, I recommend pulling out your secondary. And also for dogs, it really, it's really bad, in my opinion. Yeah, it's missing city. <laughs> like you just miss every shot, pretty much. Like I mean, I'm not saying that you're bad, but like you, I miss like everything with it when I, on yeah. dogs. They it's so when you have moving targets, it's really hard to hit them. Yeah, when they're right in front of you. Yeah. Getting mm -hmm. them from like the side or something, that's just impossible. It's kind of like when you're trying to use the ray gun, you have to kind of aim ahead of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really weird. I mean, uh, maybe it makes sense because it's just a traveling projectile. But uh, I, I would think lasers would go faster than bullets, <laughs> but they end up not. But uh, that's all right. We, you know, we digress. We deal with it. You know, I, I honestly hope Black Ops has a zombie style thing. I'm pretty sure that's the one thing everyone wants. Just zombies. Nobody. You know, they can take out. Oh, sure. um, there's. I read a YouTube message. I'm not sure if this is real or not, but there's been rumors that. There's another company that you know has also Call of Duty rights, other than Treyarch now. Um, and they were there. Someone was like, "Hey, I heard that this company was making like a not a zombie-only game." And I was like, "Hey, that sounds pretty cool. That's not a bad idea. I would I'd definitely buy that for seventy dollars." Yeah. Zombies would. only, like twenty maps. Go. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Great. That'd be awesome. But um, I don't think that's true, considering the fact. Unless you were talking about Activision, when Activision. It's not Activision. I don't know that for a fact. I don't remember what company it was though. But anyway, you were saying. Yeah, I, well, like I'm saying, Activision, I can see maybe having some rights or something, but, you know. I, I also, Blizzard bought out Activision. You almost died there. That was close. Yeah. Frickin' Magnum sucks. I just I just stopped using it here. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, uh, Blizzard bought out Activision at E3. That's pretty funny. Blizzard just bought a huge game, gaming company. And, uh, yeah, so I could have seen that. I think if Blizzard had anything to do with Call of Duty, like, the game would just go flying high, like, it would definitely be better. Not to say that they're a production team, but like they, their standards. Oh god. Yeah, they, they they do a really really good job on their games. Yeah, World of Warcraft people now look at it and be like, oh the graphics suck. The graphics. Well, guys, the, uh, one, let's see when the graphics were made. Okay, 2004. Yeah, 2004. 2004, right? So back then, that's amazing graphics, like especially for an MMO. Like you know how much world there is in there. Okay, and Cataclysm. Whenever they come out with a new expansion, they can't change the whole graphics because. 
think about this, if they had one, like, area in that world that was, like, super, like, realistic, like, high-res graphics and everything was different, it would look bad. And if they had to put out a patch for the graphics, not only would that be, like, probably, like, 20 gigabytes, it would just be ridiculous. It would... It just wouldn't happen. All right, I want to talk about two things before it ends. One, also if they did that, they'd have to raise up the bandwidth because there wouldn't yeah. be enough space and everyone would lag like crazy, and I guess they don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, it's going to end here. If you guys enjoy this and you guys want to see more, just send, uh, put it in the comments and double-click like because when you tap it once, it doesn't register half the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and this is Back 7 and uh, we're out.